All right, here's part three here, and this is how you hook up the printer. Printer's super easy. Printer, we've made it through the hard part, guys, on the photo booth. That was the hard part is the camera. The printer, there's only two cables here. And of course, I've put stickers on there for you, like I always. So the printer, there is, you can come around here back if you can. Printer is right here, and then the cable. Now, you guys can put, put yourself a table here if you want. Obviously, you don't want to put it on the speaker. That would not be a good idea. So there's the cam the the cam colors are matched. <clears throat> I didn't do this because I ran out of color stickers. But you just plug it in. Everything needs power, by the way. Speakers need power. Everything's good. So whenever you plug it in, you'll hear a dink, de dink. That means everything's working correctly. So that's good. So now, pretty much on the photo booth. You guys want to step back about four foot. So this is about four, we got about four foot. So come around here, on, record. So four foot, so I'm gonna to touch the screen. And it's all touch screen, it's all self-serve. Get ready. So let's look at the camera. Three, right here. two, one. So take your photo, there it is right there. Everything's perfect. I did, I did everything perfect here. So this is perfect, I'm about six foot tall. So the, the students there will typically be about, I'd say about five foot. So they will be about here or maybe even here to me. So everything should work out pretty perfect on that one, guys. So you can do keep a retake. Now the students will figure this out pretty easy. Decorate your photos, really cool, guys. Uh, if you, uh, there's no props. We have props, I'll have graduation props, but these are more regular props. So the kids can kind of go through there and they can decorate their photos however they want to do it. So, <laughs> my mom thinks that's funny. Let's see here. I think that looks nice. So you can, you can do whatever you want. Now they can do mustaches. Of course, fifth grade or sixth graders love mustaches, right? So they will do that one. So we're gonna hit done. Hold on. So it's gonna go down with just a little bit of the can. There, it's good. Thank Set you. Set the printer, and it'll print right here for you. And it'll come out here. Now with the printer, it'll 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 suck it in. It'll spit it out, suck it in, spit it out, suck it in, spit it out, suck it in. One more time, and it'll spit it out. All right, there it is, guys. And there's your photo. I made you guys a custom logo or Gainesville Bulldogs there. So there's that. Everything's custom for you. And then now you will have some scissors here so you can cut that down the middle there. All right, guys. Now the next the next video we'll go we're gonna go back to we're gonna go back to the jukebox, but we're gonna do sound. We're gonna hook up the sound. So the photo booth is done. One thing I did forget to mention though, guys, on this video. Whenever you start up the photo booth, I know I'm backtracking, but I forgot to. Whenever you start up the photo booth, you're going to hit this minimize button right here as an icon. Hit that button. The reason why you want to hit it, if you notice, it brought everything down. So let's just say the photo booth froze up or something like that. It doesn't ha happen very often, but if it did, you can, you, can, you can exit the program easy instead of shutting down the computer and it causing five minutes of no time. So all you have to do is just that that uh, don't worry about that don't worry about that and then all you have to do is just touch your touch your icon right here that's your photo booth so you're going to touch that icon and it'll load right back up for you so let's just say for example this is your first time walking in start it up and then you're gonna don't worry about this don't worry about that and then you're gonna hit that icon again and it'll, it'll bring it down that's that way in case anything gets froze up all you have to do is just close it down and you can open it back up. All right, guys, stay tuned for part three. All right, let's go.